be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code six for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same with the Grizzly Gentleman, 10% off at checkout on your fantastic beard products. Or you could shop via the TCG Player affiliate link in the description down below to help support the show. And last, but of course not least, you can go to Grey Viking Games with the uh, affiliate link below to pillage some sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? 36 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today we're playing more Abzan Midrange. I've made some modifications. Uh, we've got good old-fashioned, you know, Nissas and stuff in here. Just, you know, we're, we're playing we're playing with the broken cards. Um, we, we didn't make too many uh, changes. Did we make changes? From you know, I don't remember. My brain is broken. Uh, we're we're going to play some Abzan Midrange. <laughs> The point of this deck essentially is just to, to get uh, some value over our opponents and beat them. That's it. Uh, Midrange, unfortunately, is not in a great place in Historic right now because the only midrange decks are decks that operate on axes that uh, Wizards doesn't have answers for. Or, let me rephrase, uh, Wizards has not provided us answers for, nor have they banned things that, frankly, should be banned. So, we'll see how it goes. This hand is fine. We got a turn two, turn three, and uh, potentially more. Okay. Ow. So a shovel here is probably just going to soak up damage. Um, soak up like a burn spell or something. Uh. Yikes. It's this version of mono red. So I am most likely going to need to. Oh my gosh, my opponent can my opponent can cleave me this turn. My opponent can play land, attack, cleave. They they will be attacking with four creatures potentially. Bruh. Does this count for cleave? Okay. I guess I could have blocked there. This is... <laughs> I've taken nine damage before my third turn, dude. Um, hmm... Play Knight of Autumn here for four life. And then I I can block this potentially. And then the following turn I can play Scooze with two green up so I can eat both of my own creatures. I mean, it, if this doesn't end up dying. Let's regret the grill savage some of them under rest of the subtle power of their shamans. Yeah, subtle. Uh, I would not call this card subtle. Oh, why is this not up? Okay. This this could have turned out worse. For what it's worth, this definitely could have turned out worse. Don't get a land. Don't uh, fudge. I got two lands. Okay. So next turn I can play Nyssa. I'm gonna eat this now. I'm just gonna make this four power now. Nissa. I guess untap this. I can make two green with it. They probably play land, Anax, Rhyme Rock Knight. Is my guess. 
It's Rim... Rimrock? I've, I've been calling it Rhyme Rock this whole time. There's Anax. Just Anax. That greatly confuses me. I really don't want to lose my land. I mean, I'm definitely not attacking. Steamkin, sure. I need to be careful with my blocks. Mainly, like, just for Embercleave. Okay, I do not have to care about Embercleave anymore. Three of their creatures. That's fine. It's possible I should have just killed the Steamkin, but I'm not sure. This is what I call free food. Six. No, 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 no. Block here. One, two, three, three. Yes. I would like to keep my screws around. Even if Nissa dies, that's fine. I need to keep my screws around. I'm hoping I'm not too quiet. Targeting Nissa? That's absolutely fine. So I could have potentially blocked there. The worry was Embercleave. Embercleave would have made it so I'd lose my scoos. Pass to damage. Nissa dies. Oh well. I must go. So we're going to use Sharn, then Shevel. Okay, 
So I do just have to be clear about that. So all of these have to be treated with plus one. Black here. It's just plus one, right? Yeah, just plus one. So I can actually block there. Or I can block here comfortably. I would take five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, we definitely like authority here, like the Wrath of Gods. I think that's it. Uh, as much as casualties did kind of help us that, help us that game, I don't think it's necessarily what we want. Uh, we don't technically need the Growth Chamber Guardians at max either in this matchup. We do still want to have a good amount of two drops to play. Um, I still like Liliana here. Activated abilities. They didn't have like activated ability creatures, right? No. No, they didn't. Yeah. For some reason, my, uh, Yeah, I don't know if it's my RTX voice being off or something, but it's it's being wonky. It's a kind of slow hand. Especially since we're going second, but... It's really hard not to keep these hands. Like, hands that just have lands and spells on them. I preferred a lower drop. Like, uh, if I could top deck a... Probably Shovel. I got a questing piece? No. I got woodland, whatever. That was almost disastrous. So we can kill something next turn. Probably just the Bomet Courier. I mean, luckily, this is not a. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. I was gonna say, luckily, this is not a lot of damage. Well, I'm actually glad that I didn't draw this. Bruh. I have to pass the turn. I have to be able to kill whatever they equip, uh... Yeah, whatever they equip, um... You idiot! You No, I, I'm stupid. I could've... I was like, oh, if I just do that, then they're not gonna be able to... Yeah, no, I'm just fucking dumb. <sighs> I, I forgot that they wouldn't have been able to actually... Embercleave. Come on, five... I'm gonna probably just die. <laughs> I probably am just going to be burned to death. Emissary. Like, why not cast that first? You can cast the the beast. I want to remind everyone this is still my fourth turn when mono red <laughs> when mono red can cheat on mana such that they have how much how much uh mana is it four uh, seven uh nine uh 11, 13, 15. That's just on board. 16, 17. 17 worth of mana. 
I turned four. <laughs> that is redonkulous. Uh, I guess I'll thought seize. See if it gives me any more information. Okay, it doesn't. I, you do that just to see if there's any cyborg tech or something that you uh, want to worry about. I actually think that I want to... As good as I think Liliana would be, I think I just want another low-end creature. Like, I think I just want to play something on an early turn. Mid-range is supposed to beat aggro. I shovel next turn. I can thoughts use the turn after if I need to. Having topping top decking this tomb is nice. This comes in tap, which is fun. Alright, let's go ahead and see what they're working with. I mean, the, their stuff comes in tap, which is nice. But I'm actually going to get rid of the, the light up to the stage. I can attack them for one. Their stuff's going to come in tapped. So let's see if they actually go all in. They shouldn't, but I think that they will. I guess I should have attacked. That was dumb. It's fine. It looks like they're going to go all in. And I could just Wrath of God next turn. I'll gain three life and draw a card next to Shepel. Okay. Sure, cast another creature. Do it. Just a creature, though. Do not cast a Planeswalker. I'll be very sad. Fuck off. I guess I can attack. No, they're going to kill my Shepel. Damn it, I'm not going to gain life and draw a card. Stop, drop, and roll won't help you, buddy. Okay, next turn I can play Yasharn. Oh, today's my lucky day. Yeah, this is a uh, not bad. Keep this in my hand so I can cycle it. What do you want? Round two. Okay, you can't come out your shard yet. That's good. I'm just going to have this enter tap now. Block. Can I attack the Chandra, which is nice. Shout out to Authority of the Console for being sick here. This will be easy. That's two damage to my face. I need to murder the Chandra. But I should be able to. Because their creatures all come in tapped, thanks to Authority. Yo, this card's sick. <laughs> I don't know who uh, who recommended it, but thank you. Now, my opponent shouldn't attack with Robert here. Okay, they're smart, and they didn't. Unfortunately, I will still attack. Opponent does block, that's fine. Also fine. They are trading in resources. I'm fine with that. I can start doing funky growth chamber guardian things. There's a land, so I'm getting hit. Okay, NX. You don't love to see it. Now that I don't think was correct. 
I don't think that was a correct attack. I get to kill the Chandra for free, and I'm gonna have a blocker. And you only get through for one damage here. Oh, does this count? No, it's not token. Okay. I, th I figured it didn't count tokens. That would be stupid. That's something I didn't want to draw. We get to kill the Chandra. Guess you don't need me anymore. Cast this. And we actually one, two, three. Yeah, we don't want them to know. We don't want them to know that I got this last one. So we're gonna do this now. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. Authority of the Consoles Grow Chamber Guardian, just uh just getting it getting it done. Getting it done. I have been added. Spicy white card? Okay, there's apparently a spicy white card. Alright, let's let's play another game. Whew. I'm telling you. My opponent had some uh, sick mana advantage, but uh, we were pretty fortunate to, to uh, draw how we did. This hand is uh, not keepable. This hand is keepable. I'm just now seeing this. Uh, we're going to get rid of Yasharn still, I think. Okay, so Knight of Arms is going to be very helpful here. That's about all I can say. Yep. I can't even play the turn two scoos, or the, I'd probably play the Grow Chipper Guardian to pressure them with that. So next turn, I guess we play the Guardian. Ah, they're on the the black version. Yikes. I would absolutely not blow that up, actually. I, I need to save it for uh Quachima who's it's. Uh Does it matter which of these I play? I guess we want to deal more damage. This could be wrong, by the way. It could be possible that Shovel's better. I just don't think that it is. So if we're looking at the sideboard, right? Don't want Thought Distortion. Yikes, we don't have a ton against this deck. It's like only Thought Distortion. Like, just on my Gorchimber Guardian? That doesn't seem very good. I mean, sure. I, I guess they're gonna name my Gorchimber Guardian. Card to one. The issue... The issue is... I don't want to just, like, waste... Ah, oh, that would've been nice to have, actually. I don't want to just waste the Night of Autumn on the Kedron Archive. We should I discuss guess our I'm going to... You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not stoked about it. Two for six mana. Awaken. Five mana. Okay, that was very fortunate. This this is not as fortunate.
I know about your crawling barons. I will endure. Well, I guess I could have killed their crawling barons. <laughs> I could really use another land. Any untapped land would be great, just an untapped land. Strive Especially, no, they're just gonna minus two. They minus three? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, I really could use a top deck untapped land. You are too dangerous to roam free. Kept a three lander, didn't draw any lands. What can you do? Yeah, unfortunately, our sideboard is not good against this at all. I don't think we need... Well, the thing is... No, you know what? I don't think we need Destiny Spinner. Um, Elspeth Nightmare... Is still discard, for what it's worth. Uh, just get rid of those. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can't be activated. They might be playing Golos. In which case... I mean, I still like the fact that this can kill Planeswalkers. But maybe we just do, like, that? I legitimately don't know. Sideboard definitely needs to work. For sure. It's a good hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the fact that I drew a second one means that if they do play a turn to uh, mana, uh, rock, I'm gonna blow it up. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing it to kind kingdom come. And the only reason we're doing that is because we have another one. But I just want to delay them a little bit longer. Spire of Industry, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, we, we don't we don't blow it up now. Instead, we wait until they play a forgotten... Whatever it is. And then we blow that to Spitharines. That's a huge archive. A piece of candy. Oh! I see. Interesting. Eugene, hello. I came into being long you killed the shovel, really? Ever existed. My plans do not I'm just gonna kill Ugin. So I can play Liliana this to an empty bard. <laughs> My army will be putrid, but effective. Okay, they put it on bottom. That's nice to see. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping that. I will attack here. Play Gorg Chamber Guardian. Get end turn. What's nice is that if my opponent does end up ooganing me, I will at least be able to have a Gorg Chamber Guardian chain in my hand. Don't oogin me. Don't. Wait, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Don't oogin me. I'd rather you not oog. 
Ugin me. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's not the Ugin I meant, so I don't care. My well, Lilian is going to die, but, you know, it's whatever, I guess. Guide you to victory. Be God in the lover. Yes, we are. Sweet, sweet victory, yeah. When shows for the taking. Bruv. I'm gonna kill you, Ugin, bruv. I'm gonna deal six damage to your face, ain't I? Hop, hop. Keep that Grow Chamber Guardian train rolling. Don't oogin me, bruv. The seagull sounds interesting. Alright, so I can for second money with this, but that's too full. That's unfortunate that all of these are even. I still can blow up the Forsaken Monument. Three, two, and if I if I happen to top deck a land, it's not going to be too bad because I can activate the other Go Chamber Guardian. It would have been so nice to put them on one. Alas, it was not meant to be. Hey, Mythos of Netherite. Don't mind if I do. That kills a, a Eugene pretty nicely. Goodbye. So long. Farewell, I'll be the Rosane, goodbye. I don't want to cast this Gross Timber Guardian because I'm actually very afraid. I'm very afraid that I will lose the chain on it. My opponent has two cards. They haven't... They haven't big Ugin to me yet. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Ah, oh, they might have... They might have Wulamog. Ulamog will suck, regardless. So I don't... Uh, that's a land. I would love not to see... An, oh, okay, that's... That's what we're looking for. Don't you want me, baby? I want my opponent to die. Thank you. Uh, Two counters? Alright, that's fine. I didn't expect that, actually. You're gonna double block my Gorchamber Guardian? No. Okay. Weird. I'm gonna block, then activate the thing again? Nope. That seems like a misplay? Maybe? One, two, I mean... I guess I'll cast this. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So they need another land to play uh, Ugin. They have another land. Do they have the Ugin? This is bullcrap. Were they were they holding that the entire time? Unutilized knowledge is rotting. Okay, at least I can kill it. I just need to top deck not lands. No lands, please. I do not need any more lands. Fuck you. They have a Crawling Baron, so that's going to continue to get larger and attack me. Uh, not lands. I will... I, no lands, no Thought Seize, no Thought dis, uh, Distortion. Just gas. Pure gas. hit you so much game and we're gonna gain life here because this this dies to this anyway like it this doesn't trade I have two casualties of war One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have two casualties of war. I ain't get there. Oh, 
Why'd you ever tap like that, you stupid game? I'm not dead yet. Okay. I am not dead yet. Oh, that was dumb. I should have taken the future archive. Yeah, should take the future archive second. Yep. I still have you are too dangerous casualties free. So two casualties. That is actually a misplay. I was dead in two hits anyway. Tried to play to my outs. Unfortunately, uh unfortunately we didn't get there. But yeah, we we have we have nothing. <laughs> for that matchup, so we definitely do need stuff for it. Moving to the deck talk. I think it went better than the last time. Uh, Shovel was fine. Would have liked to see casualties. Um, I feel like I'm not seeing as much sack decks. So I might want to cut Yasharn down to one. I don't think I care about Nightmare. Like, in like in theory, we should be destroying aggro generally. So I don't think I care about Nightmare. And I think I want to cut a Yasharn. Maybe I add another land... Maybe I add another land and then like put put Elspeth Conquers Death back in. Because Conquers Death also helps against the against the artifact ramp deck. In the sideboard, I I absolutely loved Authority of the Consoles. This card was top. Um, Cage still makes sense. Rest in Peace still makes sense. Uh, Destiny Spinners, even even though we go up against Control, I don't think it's worth running Destiny Spinner. It just dies to their Wraths anyway. Um, I'm fine with us having Wraths, so I think it's fine. Thought Sorcerer are fine. Uh, the Linfala, I haven't been seeing a lot of combo uh, that I expected, so I think we have five slots on the sideboard to work with. And uh, I think I might want to just go up to 26 lands, drop a single Yasharn, Drop the Nightmare. Add in a Conqueror's Death. I think I like that. Let me know what you all think down in the comments. You can also uh, drop me some mail. And I will open it up on camera. And uh, lastly, you can uh, join my patrons. Especially Fogwin, Malik, and Balotay. Because they, uh, they support the show. And you can too. Do hope, of course, you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll be one.